Lava, 567, I think it is. Um, so I've been informed by the spirit that um, this could be 568. I think it's 567. I'll put the correct number in later. So I've been informed by the spirit that um, I have dreamed of places like Canberra and Sydney quite often in variation. The layout is varied and um, the layout of the cities are varied and uh, the spirit, spiritual animistic sort of spirit of it is very, uh, I, I quite, quite usually like it even though it's a dark spirit a lot of the time, but um, it's very, very it's not, not really dark, but very moody or um, there's certainly a, quite a strong ambience about it and it's sort of melancholic sort of, it's the, um, it's a, uh, a somber, sedate sort of spirits, and they're all va va varied and things like that, but if you know the, the ambience and an animistic sense of places, they're, they're just spirits like that, they're just ambient sort of spirits, and I sense that in my dreams, and I've had dreams of Canberra in very many variations, and, um, of different landscapes and things like that, different people, and all sorts of very intense adventures in my dreams. That's one thing God does provide for me. And he's just mentioned that, and I think I might have mentioned it, uh, he's mentioned this before as well, that these dreamscapes of Canberra and Sydney's and so forth are potentially dreamscapes of a physical, real world in the, uh, well, the, the realm of eternity or in the created worlds of the Angel Saga. Now this would not necessarily be a physical earthly thing, but a, potentially, but a spiritual heavenly worlds of legal Torah creation. Because I'm Torah, that's law with God, that's legal stuff. And these are, this is legal information which has been submitted to God. You can see it at alt.god an alter Bible on Google Groups on the internet. Go to Google and select the option of the groups in the menus, and you can find the alt God and alt Bible groups, which are some of the old new Usenet groups, which are still around and still functioning. And um, that's where I submit my information. And uh, it's legal information for the purposes of uh, the stories and the worlds they create can be used in the realm of eternity and realm of infinity for the creation of worlds. Now, the, um, each year, mankind gets a new level in heaven for Earth for that year. I've talked about, this is standard a and theology. If you have own a house in 2017, that house is there for you to redeem. People know what redeem means anyway. Um, and in, so forth for 2018, and so on and so forth. The levels are there for your years of life to redeem, and you're not, if you own it, but you've got a kid, they also are, are a legal rights holder. They're a legal rights holder. They have rights with that house. They have rights. Even if you're the owner, they have legal rights. But um, what can be created apart from that? is that with legal creation of worlds like a, a Tolkien Middle Earth or a David Addings World of the Seven Gods Belgarian World and so on and so forth and uh, other created sort of fictive worlds, if it's done in a legal sort of sense with the creator, you've got the information that's submitted to him. This information can be uh, used for world creation. Now, um, it works in levels, and there's stairwells and things and roads which sort of go up and down levels, and I think there are also sort of portals where you can go into levels and things. And uh, God can create these worlds infinitely. But um, in the A&M, this is generally the understanding I'm getting from God, that we have rights with uh, creation of the, the geographical localities as well as the culture, of course, of the angel side. 